originally got Guinevere, we noticed that uh, there was a very nice teak and holly sole here that ran down the center of the cabin floor. But each side of the cabin was uh, curved where the turn of the bilge was. Originally there was nothing there when we got her. You could just see the, the hole there. Uh, we bought carpet runner that was a uh, Persian design. It was nice, thick, and, and fluffy. And it was hunter green, and we absolutely loved it. But after living aboard for a whole number of years, it got pretty worn. Not long before we were ready to go cruising, we decided to take it out and we put in this, which is an indoor-outdoor type carpet. For cruising, this worked out very well. It, it's held up very good with all the sand and water going in and out of the boat. But uh, now we're changing a little bit. We want to be a little more comfy. And we might be going to some areas that are a little cooler than uh, the tropics. So we decided it's time that this got changed out again. The beauty of putting carpet in this area on the bilge is that uh, it's fairly easy to put in with a uh, carpet adhesive. They make some really good ones now that don't outgas. And it's fairly easy to remove the carpet and pull it out. What I'll do is I'll take this old carpeting out, flip it over, and I'll use it as the pattern to cut the new carpeting with. this side is out and there's another very small piece over on this side now for a cleanup get the vacuum in here and wipe everything down and get it all cleaned up I was lucky enough to do one last search on the internet and found some carpet runner that was almost like the old carpet that we had not quite as deep a plush a pile, but almost. So I took our old carpet out, laid it on, and marked it off with a magic marker and some anti-raveling stuff. Next thing is a brand new blade in the, in the cutter to start cutting the carpet to match. Now the very next thing I'm going to do, before I even lift it off the cardboard and get it out of get it start to put it away is I got some PVC glue the same type I use for putting PVC piping together from the hardware store and it's clear and I'm using it and the little brush and I'm going over all of these ends to seal the ends so it doesn't come unraveled Here I am back at the boat, and uh, although I used the pattern from the old carpet to exactly cut out the new one, because you're pulling the old one out and because it's worn a lot, it may not fit just exactly like I want it. So I'm here to make some minor adjustments to the carpet before I lay it in and seal it down. While I was doing all of that, Jill came in and coated our teak and holly sole with a... Uh, a product that's normally used on basketball courts or gymnasium floors. We, uh, we really liked the stuff we got before, but unfortunately, uh, they no longer will supply it. VOC problems, I guess. So we used a different product this time. We'll let you know after a year or two how it holds up. The old product held up great. It, uh, it looked nice. It never was slippery. It, uh, water didn't affect it. It worked really well. So I'm going to take out uh, my X-Acto knife and a, and a pair of uh, 
shears and I'm going to trim this up just the way I want it before I seal it on down. And now a little touch up of the places where uh, I uh, had to cut. Not too many but I want to touch it up with the PVC cement to make sure that uh, we don't start fraying underfoot when we're when we're using the carpeting. Now it's time to stick the carpet down and I've got this carpet adhesive here which is sort of a jellified stuff and I'm here to tell you you don't really need to stick the carpet down every place. It doesn't all need to be stuck down. Just enough to hold it in place. And I'm going to put it on thick in a few places to stick it in. And then I'm going to mash the carpet into it to make sure it gets held very tightly in place. And I'm quite sure that this is probably not the way they would uh, tell you to do this, but uh, it's the way we did it last time, and it stuck for a long time. Now you want to make sure that you don't get this on any of the flooring. On the, on the glue itself it says to roll it. Well, I'm not exactly going to roll this, but I am going to press it down in so that I know it's on there tight. Like I said, it doesn't have to be glued absolutely everywhere. And once it's in place, it will lay down after a few days. Uh, where where this is just coming straight off and it it's a little more in after a few days it's going to lay down and be back up in there so that's the small side now onto the big side so on this side I'm going to do it in parts and put the glue in parts Now I'm adding a little more glue at this end because this is the nav station and it's where I sit. So uh, my feet are uh, into it more here. You know, it gets it gets moved around a lot more. Thing good about this glue has a uh, has a nice long working time so it's not critical that you get everything down instantly you can uh, take your time so there we are the new car carpeting in place 
it's not set up yet so no more work for 24 hours while it sets up but now we have the comfortable home back that we've become accustomed to